All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put in a micro SD card into our PTZs. This is a IPTZ258T. So the first thing you need to do is open up the cover from here so you can access the micro SD slot right there. This is a micro SD card. So you need to use a long screwdriver, manual driven, make sure it's manual driven, not a motorized screwdriver, otherwise you're gonna strip the heads on the screws inside here. Um, if it's magnetized, it'll be even better so you don't drop the screws inside and try to fetch them. I don't think my screwdriver, oh, it is magnetized. So one of the reasons we don't let our customers do this is because it's very easy to damage the camera. Notice that I am using the styrofoam that comes inside the box with the PTZ on the top. When you open the PTZ, you'll find this styrofoam in there. I'm using that and I put it upside down and then I ran my cable through the, the styrofoam. My cable is just sitting here unplugged. Make sure you do not do this with the camera plugged in. You should not be doing this out in the field either because you're gonna end up damaging the camera or getting some thing flying into the camera, some debris. Please don't lose these screws either because if they're lost, there's nothing we can do to replace them. They are metric screws. And lastly, you don't want to drop these screws into the PTZ and then forget about them because when you turn the PTZ on and the screws fall back down, they're most likely gonna land on the um, PCB board and somehow they will end up um, causing a short circuit and damage your PTZ. None of that is covered by warranty. So when you get your PTZ, um, this little plastic cap is gonna be on top of the camera. You wanna make sure you take it off, remove it. In this case, this is going to a customer, so I'm just gonna tip it back here. So to remember how we have this sitting, the camera's, uh, this is the camera module. Its backside is facing this way. And this PCB board is visualized like so. So I'm gonna put this back. If you don't remember how this is, I always suggest taking pictures of before and after with your phone. Okay. I already had my micro SD ready. And you wanna put this in, into this slot right here. And that slot is really tricky. There are all different kinds of mechanisms on these, but this mechanism has a little button for you to release it. Obviously this mechanism is not meant for you to be uh, removing, you know, t toggling with this thing all the time. When I put it in this way with the plastic, or sorry, this printed uh, surface of the micro SD facing up, it went in without any resistance. And there's a clip mechanism that it actually made a little click. I pushed it in and it released it. So I'm gonna do that again. This notch facing what to use the right side, printed surface up. There's a little bit of resistance there, it's fine. I heard that little click and we're done. Now I can put the camera back together. Remember I had it sitting this way. So I'm gonna make sure mm -hmm. I put it back on top and screw it back in and line up the holes. Just put your screws back in here and your PTZ okay. top back on and you should be good. So make sure your screws are in all the way. And you, if you're shipping this to somebody or you're not using it for a while, put this back on top. Uh, so so now the last part is putting back the top of the PTZ. You wanna make sure that the gasket is properly aligned on the top. It's really important it's there because this is one of the water, one of the barriers that keeps the water from getting into the camera. Put it back on top and screw it in all the way and make sure it's correctly seated and not gonna pop out. Having an incorrect seal here will lead to damage on your PTZ camera should you ever open this. In fact, most of the time, 
we make sure that we remove this um, strap going across before we ship it to our customers so the customer doesn't have to open the PTZ and mess around with that. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.